Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to install MS-DOS in the Oracle uh, VM VirtualBox. Now I hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to download the MS-DOS 6.2 files. So if you go to this URL, I'm going to paste it in the description below so you can just uh, click on it. Um, so if you come here and then if you click on this icon there, uh, that will download the file. If you download it to your machine, if you then just right click and extract it, it's going to ask for a password for the file. Um, I'm going to put that password in the description box below as well so you'll be able to um, extract it. So if we go in there, we can see it's basically floppy drive images. So what we need to do now, if we go to Oracle VirtualBox, if we create a new machine, uh, you can name it whatever you want, but I will name it MS-DOS 6.22. We can see here it's already selected the version, so we obviously want version DOS. Uh, click Next. Leave it default as 32 meg of memory. Uh, leave this default as 500 meg, and, unless you want more obviously, but if you just hit Create, and Next, Next and create okay before we power it on we want to click on settings storage and under the floppy controller click on here at the moment it's saying empty because it doesn't have anything attached to it so if we click on the little um, icon there and click choose virtual floppy disk now if you browse to the download of MS-DOS 6.2 so if we go into the folder here we need disk 1 so if you select disk 1 and press open and now OK now if we power on this machine it's going to automatically start the install ok so here if we press enter and if you leave it on configure unallocated disk space, press enter again. It's now going to reboot the system, so press enter again. It's now formatting the drive. Uh, select your the correct settings. I'm in the United Kingdom, so I'm going to select United Kingdom. Make sure the date's correct and time. And then select these settings are correct and press enter. Okay, it's going to automatically install it into CDOS. If you want another folder, just type in what you want to install it to. Press enter again. Okay, so it's asking for setup disk 2. So if you press the right control key, it enables you to use, use your mouse again. And if you click on machine and then settings, go to storage. And then here. And then if you select disk 2 so you'll need to browse to it uh, disk 2 click on OK and then if you left click there you see the mouse disappears so it's that screen that's active now so if you press enter again so if you, you see here uh, sometimes you can't move the mouse so if you can't move the mouse press control but you can see here I can actually move out so we need to click on machine settings again and we need to insert floppy disk free. And then if you click on there and press enter again, it's going to finish the install. Okay, it's now asking us to remove the floppy drive. So again, if you go back into settings, storage here, and if you select remove disk from virtual drive press OK OK it's now saying that it's installed on your machine press enter to restart there we go we can see that um, MS-DOS is now installed so thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video